there are some people who don't believe in witchcraft. They believe that witchcraft is something imaginary. In this video, you are going to see a person that is an ex-witch and this guy is going to tell you about some things that he would do in the past. So let's go to 1 Peter 5 and 8. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So hello YouTube, how are you guys doing today? Um, and in today's video I want to talk to you about witchcraft and Satan and I want to expose to you some of his secrets and how demons work and how it all works, you know. And these things you'll never hear anywhere else, you know. Only a few people know those things and even people that have practiced witchcraft like I have in my past, they're scared to expose those things, you know. But I have a good relationship with God and I hope nobody harms me for this, you know. And On this day, on this blah, 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 these things happen to you, this, 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 you know. And I had demonic powers that other humans wouldn't have, you know. And this was all, and this wasn't my powers. It, I was being fooled because it was the demons that were inside of me and surrounding me 24-7. And in the end, before I repented, I be, for no reason, I began to draw pentagrams and so on, you know. And um, I'll draw a picture for you now. And this is like the main demon that was with me from the age of 12, okay? And uh, my drawing isn't the best, but I used to worship this guy, okay? And um, I don't know if you can see it well on my camera, but you can, uh, you can have a look at this one here, okay? If you're a non-believer or an atheist, let's say it's so easy to curse you because i've i've had even in the past i've tried to curse people that were christians and some christians are weak if you're a weak christian if you don't have a good relationship with god you're easy to curse or if you're of, of another religion rather than christianity you can like uh, how can i say this um you can easily be cursed like atheists for example they're cursed so easily they're the easiest targets you know and all the devil has to do in a way, if you are a non-believer, all he has to do every now and then, and his demons, they just have to satisfy you to keep, they just have to entertain you every now and then. then they don't have to exhaust themselves, but their spirits, they cannot exhaust themselves, okay? They don't have time, their spirits. And the thing is, all they have to throw is in like a nice car or a nice new home, you know, that it will keep your time to renovate that home, and it, you know, and you think, okay, let me make some more money me to buy this furniture to buy this to buy this but if you think about it what like where is your mind you know your mind isn't in your head anymore your mind is all put into your own work to satisfy yourself you know to gain power and things for yourself okay and if you think about it your mind is not focused on god and this is how the devil draws you drives you away from god okay and the devil can also perform miracles for you and entertain you. If you're into witchcraft, a lot of people, like demons will uh, entertain you. For example, they'll set their hands on fire or uh, they'll levitate, people levitate around the room. They'll change their eyes, you know, into different colors and so on. And um, also when I like got up, got with my first girlfriend, I like I saw her eye color changed, you know, because it wasn't her anymore. But you know, and um, he'll perform those things for you. So you would say, okay, well, the devil gives me this, 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 those things, you know, why should I worship a God that doesn't give me anything? You know, like Jesus doesn't give you anything, but this is what you think. Like, and you and devil worshipers also think, okay, we cannot see Jesus Christ. He doesn't show himself to us. You know, why should we give up our powers here? You know, like what's the matter with that? And uh, many people would be afraid to give up their own powers. 
and this is why they stay into witchcraft but that god like god wouldn't give you what you want in the bible it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not be in want okay and god wouldn't give you what you want god will will give you the things you need and god will give you love and peace within your life because before when i used to be into witchcraft when i used to be possessed by demons when i used to control demons when i used to send demons go there go there do this to this person do this to that person and so on you know uh i didn't have peace at all you know i was always pissed off out all my moods will always change just like this i could be the happiest person right now and in this the following second i could switch into an entire beast okay just anger anger you know destruction and um you know and they'll poison your mind your mind will be so poisoned you know and people really those things are real also you have to know that witches and warlocks they can send demons to certain areas to certain neighborhoods you know and why do you think certain neighborhoods never get better because they're demon possessed those areas are really demon possessed uh like because for example there's spirits that can cause violence in that neighborhood drugs prostitution you know all those bad things that can be caused the devil can the devil causes them okay and mind if you're a christian god will allow demons to attack you sometimes to tempt you and why and some people would say okay but why you know god already knows that i love him if he's almighty powerful god 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 already knows this you know why would he allow them you know because god wants you to know god wants you to know you know god wants you to know that you love him you know and god wants he's doing those things for you not for himself okay god already knows that you love him but he wants to test you and to see if you'd really stay loyal to him till the end and so on if you endure to the end um let me just see what else i have there is so much written here okay also you have to know that everything on earth is controlled by the demo the, by the devil most things like the government the media music all those things that you see on tv most of them are satanic you know and um and for example listen to a love song or whatever and this love song isn't being sang for another person and so on that people can relate to and those songs are all sang to the devil just think about it people you know it's not science science fiction you know you just have to use your mind and um i've been there you know and i know how it all works and the only people the devil and his demon harass are the true believers in christ those are the only only people that are really really harassed by the by the devil because he wants them because one human being can change the world for the better one true believer by preaching his word you know and um you know and this is why he harasses them this is why he's afraid they'll expose him and things like that also in witchcraft you have ranks you know you have to reach a certain rank to be able to sit and talk with the devil for him to show up and for the demons to show up you know and also when you enter witchcraft they put braces around your neck and each bracelet it's voodoo bracelets voodoo is a witchcraft as well each bracelet represents a different demon and that demon is assigned to you for and that demon is assigned to you and he's like when you accept witchcraft it's your religion you worship satan and they are your guardian angels you know and also i can tell you you can also have contracts with demons as well as satan and you can sign if you want to have a contract with a demon you can sign it with your own blood or with an animal's blood it doesn't have to be yours particularly but the thing is these contracts can be broke but the only way to break them is through human um while you are alive you know while you are alive you can only break those contracts you can break the contracts for example um if you're dead because if you die a satanic worshiper you go to hell it's over you cannot break this contract you know i don't think you can break this contract i'm not 100 percent sure because if you put the you know you'll be judged by god if you repent that to him there then um i guess you you might go to heaven i don't also a single prayer can cast away demons not only from yourself and from other people uh, from other people not so much you know but a single prayer can 
cast demons away from neighborhood so in this neighborhood there is no violence no crime no drugs and slowly things will begin to get better within that neighborhood you know also demons will um try to harm you all the time you know i told you every chance they get they'll try and they'll attack you what is your protection against something like this what you can do you can repent of your sins god please forgive me of my sins if you can name each individual sin god please forgive me for stealing god please forgive me for cursing god please forgive me for hurting a person's feelings so on and so on so name each individual sin if possible what you can do is read your bible more start in the new testament start in matthew you can pray more perhaps you can go on a spiritual fast for about one to three days from what I hear that is the average amount of days a person goes of course you can go longer you can go for a week two weeks three weeks a month whatever you can do all of these things are going to help you stay away from anything that does not pertain to God you may see that as very extreme but when you get really tired of dealing with demons you are going to do what it takes so obviously if you believe this is extreme you are not fed up with demons yet not yet so if you are doing these things repenting of your sins and everything like that even if there are witches trying to curse you there is not much that they can do unless God allows them to do particular things that is about it so I pray that this makes sense. God bless.